Hello, this is Constantina Sardorino. Today I wanted to share with you uh, some information on how I do an Akashic Records reading or as I prefer to call it, an Akashic Records consultation. And I say that because for me, um, accessing the Akashic Records differs from a traditional psychic reading and it's not that I have anything against psychic readings or psychic readers they um, there are some very good ones out there and their work is uh, is valid for what they do but for me accessing the Akashic Records is done with the intent of uh, offering guidance empowerment inspiration and healing to the individual so we focus on understanding uh, the past and understanding the present and through that finding solutions to our problems, um, heal and increase our um, ability to create a life of happiness, joy and well-being. We do look into potential future but because future is still, to me, a very fluid concept, it's not predestined, predestined and we create it as we move along in life, then I do not really uh, do predictions as such, as very often happens in a traditional psychic reading. So what I need to access the Akashic Records is a person's full name, if he or she um, is present, uh, is, a, is a life uh, consultation, or an additional information of date of birth and um, place of birth is assisting me in connecting with the right Akashic Records. Um, then the person needs to have readily available their question. The, the, their, their questions. You can understand that the Akashic Records of the Book of Life is um, an extensive source of information, is a journey of the soul um, throughout the centuries and it is impossible for me to go and look at everything there. The, person, the person's questions will guide me towards finding the right answers. And the answers or the responses I receive in a form of course of a vibration from the Akashic Records themselves or through the Akashic record, um, Records Keepers or the Person's Guides or Archangels and Ascended Masters. So the ultimate intent for me to access the Akashic Records is to bring some benefit to the person, guidance, inspiration, empowerment and healing and there is a lot of healing that can take place during an Akashic Records uh, healing some t uh, session even by just knowing and clarifying and getting insight um, and further enlightenment to a specific situation can bring healing to that person and um, uh, if if nothing else, if nothing else, the person receives that clarity, those clarifications necessary, this uh, the guidance necessary, which can take forward in achieving greater well-being, happiness, joy, and healing. So I just wanted to share with you in this episode about uh, how I do an Akashic Records reading. This is Constantina Sardorino. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.